I found in, in my years of experience that there are two types of bride. The bride to be who's been dreaming of this day since she was seven and is going home, or everything mapped out in her head, or a dress, the shoes, what she's wearing, what she wants it to look like, everything. Or there's the, the bride to be who hasn't got a clue and is scared to death. The bride to be who's got it all planned out in her head. It's then my job to bring that out because she might have got it in her head, but she can't articulate it. So then we do a little bit of process of how, you know, I get to know her and I find out what sort of dress she's having and cars and even the meal, because it all builds a picture then if I know what, what she's thinking about. And then we design the design the uh, the decor. And then with the, the other one who wasn't all scared, honestly, we get lots of girls who are scared. They've got this massive thing to, uh, to organise and they haven't got a clue how to do it. I can also help with that because yeah, I'll, I'll listen again to what, what sort of things I've organised, but they might need to know where am I going to get my rings from? Where where where's a good place to get men's suits? Where's um, you know I, I, cars and cakes? The years of experience means that I know everyone in the local area who offers those services, who are really good at what they do. Don't charge. Well, I would say I don't charge an arm and leg. Some are very, some are expensive, but you get what you pay for. But I can honestly say, you will get what you pay for. And I would, I, in fact, I recommended them to my son when he got married, and he's used the same ones, and it worked out brilliantly. So that's that's the other side of it. That's the part of how I organise, help with organising weddings.